Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey, it's James with The Chart Guys. It's Tuesday, August 15th. Going to do my nightly video on gold. The gold on this weekly, um, it continues to peak out right under that 1300 around the upper Bollinger Band area. So we have a peak here at 1297.40, uh, 1290. 9880 and the recent peak at 1298.10 and it's continues to be unable to break 1300 so that's what really i would watch for for a uh, longer term position is to see if it can break that 1300 psychological level that it's been unable, unable to do um basically all of 2017 on one two and three attempts so far so something to definitely watch for on the longer term and as far as the daily goes so daily we're right at that upper Bollinger Band rejecting um, and lost the ADMA here, which is, is, is bearish for, for gold, in my opinion. And the last time it lost that ADMA, it, it didn't have that much downside. Um, but if you look at the longer term trend, you can't, I'm not going to go with something that I've seen one time. Uh, when you see the longer term trend recently, uh, look what it does off the, when, when it either rejects the upper Bollinger Bands three times or it loses the upper Bollinger Band. Um, and then lose that ADMA. It has so much more downside, right? So we lost this. The ADMA here had more downside. Um, we had a nice bounce here. Upper Bollinger Band lost it and then lost that ADMA. Further downside. Same thing back here. And um, on the upside, whenever it gains the ADMA or has that TCG bull cross, it's been nice. And the one time it didn't work down here is when it gained that the ADMA here um, and then had further downside. So. Those, are, those aren't the norm. I'm looking at more of the consistency of the chart on the daily. So we're rejecting at the daily upper BB again, just like here last time. We've lost the ADMA here. Um, and so if you want to play it safe um, for either a bull or bear position on the daily uh, for, for a midterm to longer term swing, you can either wait for the, the daily and the weekly to set um, a higher high and break that 1300 that price level of 1300 that's so crucial for me or if the daily if you think it's gonna this tcg bear cross is gonna work out uh, nicely and we're gonna lose this 20 ma i would wait for us to either can even wait to see how it does on the 20 ma test which is at 1268.60 and if it loses it or even safer bet would be to would be when it changes the trend and it breaks below 1257.10 because clearly on the upside here as it's been going up on this last bounce uh, from the bottom here on the daily it's been continuing to set higher highs so those are the two things I would watch is either if you're if you don't feel comfortable playing it here bearish with the break of the ADMA um, then you can wait for the break of this recent low of 12710 or if you're looking for a bull position look for a, a break of 1300 and in it and a breaking above and gaining the upper Bollinger Band um, on the daily and weekly charts as far as the miners go still seeing weakness here uh, miners did have a little bit of bounce still upper wick Back test of the 20 MA rejected, and I'm still staying away from miners trades right now. Don't feel comfortable really doing it until going long. I'm still waiting for this this weekly to set a higher high um, for, for me to go long, and I'm still looking at this upper wick here, long upper wick at 23.86 to break that recent uh, resistance on the weekly on the senior miners. Find a just play uh, bullish bull miners. One thing I'd watch for is I've noticed that gold and spy recently have had the last couple days have had um, inverse reactions to to each other so spy uh having bounces intraday has i've seen gold pull back a little bit and and spy pulling back i've seen gold bounce a little bit and so with tomorrow's inventory reports um and having a bullish reversal candle on oil today uh, of course we need a green day tomorrow on oil to to confirm but i've seen oil where on inventory days it gets a nice bullish reaction to inventory uh, and then i see spy shoot up and so with that inverse reaction if, if there's that if there's that continued coupling of spy and oil and, and and oil does have a nice reaction then watch for oil i mean i'm sorry watch for gold to pull back on the continued inverse um relationship to to spy and 
And a lot of the, the, the gold move, I feel like, was based on um, the volatility, based on the North Korea and people moving to safer havens in, in the midst of volatility. Um, so with that kind of dying down right now, um, there could be potential for the gold pullback. So continue to watch that relationship with gold and, and SPY, see if it continues to be inverse, and see if oil uh, has a bullish reaction and then is able to push SPY up further um, towards back towards the all-time highs and see how gold reacts to that. So anyways, have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.